Good afternoon, Wildlings. Colin here, the Wild CEO. Short video, reminder, most likely reminder, three principles I'm gonna talk about today for a healthy daily routine. You probably already know. So the question becomes, are you doing these things on a daily basis? These are things that should be baked into your daily routine. If you don't do these things daily, you are taking a health risk. You're taking a risk with your long-term health and well-being. And if you're trying to lose weight or correct some issue, whatever you're trying to do with your health, these things are going to accelerate by orders of magnitude that you can't even fathom to get to your results that much faster. So do not neglect these. Figure out how you can combine them all together and do them every single day. So without further ado, let's get to the three things that you should be doing every single day. The first most important thing is you need to get outside for 30 minutes a day in direct sunlight. You're gonna get outside without sunglasses, maybe with your shirt off or in a bathing suit or whatever. Get as much full sunlight exposure as possible. I like to take a walk. I pull my son in the cart. I listen to an audiobook. I get a 30 minute walk in, uphill, downhill, pull in the wagon, get some exercise in, get some movement in and get my vitamin D for the day. The difference on days when I don't do this to how I sleep, to how I feel later in the day, I mean, it's literally night and day. This is how profound and powerful this is. Many Americans, I mean, we're talking millions of people, have vitamin D deficiency. And if you look at 2020 and a lot of the risks associated with some of the things I'm not gonna name, vitamin D deficiency is at the top of the list for a potentially, for putting you in a potentially more risky category. This is not rocket scientists. Go outside, get sunlight, move around a little bit, maybe stretch, do yoga, play a sport, exercise, that's even better. Right? If you wanna turn into a workout, even better. Do some sprints, maybe go for a run, lift some weights, dumbbells, whatever. This should become part of your daily routine. The fact that most people don't even do this, the only time they go outside is when they're walking to and from a car, to and from an office, is telling to why we have the obesity crisis in the first place. We've removed ourselves from nature. Being outside, getting sunlight through our eyes and on our skin is part of our biology. If you neglect this, and even though we do recommend you supplement with vitamin D here and there, uh, especially if your levels are low or you have trouble, you don't get out as much on some days, whatever, you should supplement with that, but it's not a full replacement for going outside. We're not gonna tell you that you can just take a vitamin D product and then you're just good to go. You don't have to go outside ever. That's completely not even close to the case. Utilize nature and all her gloriness and the fact that it's free to your advantage. Every single day, you get outside 30 minutes. Two, which you could do as part of the first one is if you get outside and like you take a walk, for example, or you do an exercise, you do some sprints, move and or exercise every single day. Now, I'm hesitant to put exercise in there because the idea of exercising every day for most people sounds extreme. It's not extreme though. Our ancestors used to walk 13 to 15 miles a day. They would climb things, chop things, grab things, cook things, bake things, rip things, chase things. We did this stuff every single day, literally every single day. And I'm trying to emphasize this because this is how important it is to understand our ancestral past. Humans create a zoo called our modern environment. We put ourselves in that zoo. Then we got sick. And then we try to basically pay doctors and big pharma to curb our sickness or mitigate it the best we can by popping some pill or getting some surgery. It's the lazy, absurd, ridiculous, and not even effective method for staying alive. It's ridiculous. And I don't want to go off on a rant on that, but it literally is. If more Americans just literally went outside, 30 minutes, took a walk, did a little bit of exercise here and there, maybe some squats or push-ups. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You're just moving. We would bring down heart disease, cancer, and all the modern diseases of civilization. We would bring down it substantially. With just that pack, that's how far gone so many are. And that's why if you're not doing these things, it's that important. Get outside 30 minutes a day and move. Simple as that. It is profound. It is powerful. It will have long-term implications for your health, it will quite literally put years in your life. And if you neglect this, if you don't do these things, it will take off years from your life. Third thing that you should be doing every single day, preparing your meals from scratch at home. Restaurant food is not health food. Even the healthiest restaurants you can find, it's not health food. The oils they use, the cross-contamination, the, like the deep fryer that just fried a bunch of gluten and then now you're putting some fries in it, like restaurant food is not health food. Also, eating out of a package of food that was cooked by a corporation in some factory far off away is not health food. No matter how many aisles and aisles of Whole Foods products you see that have all these supposed health foods, 95% of it's crap. A lot of people think that if they just go to Whole Foods and buy whatever, they're good. I mean, it's very good branding on their part, but it's not even close to the case. I could probably only buy and consume I would even say maybe say 1% of the products of Whole Foods, maybe maybe like up to five because the meat and you know the produce section, like it's pretty, it's reasonable. But all the inner shelves for the most part, trash. Cook your food at home from scratch, from raw real ingredients. This is the foundation of the wild foods way of eating, of uh, the wild sourcing. It's everything we do at Wild Foods. It's based on this idea that our ancestors ate real whole natural foods from nature, prepared them themselves. And that's why they lived healthy 
without heart disease, cancer, cavities, things like that. These things were literally non-existent in hunter-gatherer times. So let's recap. Three things that you need to do every single day. Get outside 30 minutes, get sunlight. Even better if you're moving and or exercising during that 30 minutes. Cook your meals from scratch, from real raw ingredients at home. Don't eat out of a package. Don't let corporations cook for you and don't eat from restaurants. As much as you can help it, don't eat at restaurants. That's gonna be it for more of these. Make sure you subscribe and hop on our newsletter over at wildfoods.co. I'm the Wild CEO and I'll see you in the